Welcome to my first human design and astrology mini reading here on YouTube. In these readings, I dive into your charts based on one question you have and give you a few quick little insights based on that, as well as anything that wants to come through that's applicable to everyone. And today's question comes from Virginia and she asks, am I on the right track professionally? Am I meant for what I'm doing or am I wasting my real potential? And she's a freelance brand and web designer. Before I dive into Virginia's charts, I just want to share some thoughts that are coming up for me initially because everybody's chart is like a map filled with potential. And I really see life as a game, a game where we get to face challenges, receive rewards and victories. And especially when you learn how to consciously manifest, it's almost like learning the rules and even the cheat codes of this game. You can't lose. Yet just like with any other game that you would play, if you just win over and over again, you don't even have to try, you're gonna get really bored really quickly. <laughs> you wanna have challenges and side quests to keep you interested. And it also allows you to grow as a player. And the same thing happens on earth. I really believe that our soul came here with a curriculum in mind, lessons it wanted to learn, experiences it wanted to have. And in order for you, your human form, to be able to experience those things, your soul provides you with the tools and abilities and talents that you need in order to fulfill your soul's desire, so to speak. And that's what we see in your chart. We see what it is that your soul wants for you, what it wants to experience. And we see that in the form of potential. So your chart is potential. But the shape that it takes in this life, that is dependent on your free will, on the exact path that your soul chooses to go on, how your life evolves, because we have our own understanding of what we want, but we're also dealing with the collective desires and things that happen outside of us that are not always in our control. So that is what we see in a chart. So let's take an example of how the game of life can play out career-wise. So let's say that someone's end goal is to become the CEO of a clothing company. I'm just making something up here. The CEO of a clothing company. And it doesn't matter if they currently know that that is their end goal or if they are currently just completely unaware that that's on their path, but their soul somehow knew that's something that they wanted. Now, on the way to becoming that CEO, they might have 20 different jobs that are all lined up for them to learn something from along the way, all kind of things that they need in order to become that CEO. So for example, let's say that one of their jobs was that they worked at a restaurant. And as they worked at a restaurant, even though that was not a career choice for them, that was not their end goal, they might have learned how to complete multiple tasks at once, how to deal with people that are not so polite, but dealing with them in a good way, how to keep a smile on their face, no matter what's going on in the background. Um, there could be so many things that they learned at that job that seemingly have nothing to do with the end goal of becoming a CEO of a clothing company, yet it is bringing them these tools that they need in order to get there. Why I'm sharing this is because it's easy to answer the question, does what I'm doing match my chart? And I will answer it. Yet it's also really good for us to be aware that it's not always that black and white. Like, yes, you can see what's written in the stars for you. And I have entire sessions where I guide clients through their sole purpose in this lifetime. Yet it's also really good to note that we can trust our intuition to guide us along the way, step by step, even if it's leading us towards something that seemingly has nothing to do with what we want in the long run, yet it might actually be providing us with something that we need in order to achieve our end goal. Just like how in a game, you have to go through certain mini games in order to unlock a tool or a skill that you need further on in the main game. So now coming back to Virginia's question, am I on the right track professionally? Am I meant for what I'm doing? Or am I wasting my real potential as a brand and web designer? Now, I felt really called to just look at your astrology charts for this one. And here are a few of the things that I can instantly see. 
Being a Libra rising means that you're really skilled at seeing the beauty in things, creating harmony and balance. And this is a perfect placement for jobs in the beauty, branding and designing industry. I also see that your second, your sixth and your 10th house are in water signs, meaning that the houses in your chart that are related to money, day-to-day -day work and career, they're infused with the energy of being able to do and be all the things. You're not necessarily designed to do just one thing in this lifetime, which is also reiterated by your being a conscious third line in your human design profile. So it's completely okay for you to do lots of different things throughout your entire career. I also see that with your Mars in Leo in the 11th house, I'm seeing the motivation to express yourself in your creations and to bring those creations to the masses, which is exactly what you do as a brand and web designer. You turn ideas into creations and the medium in which you do that automatically allows that to be shown to the masses, which is really cool. So having this placement also conjunct with your Venus and your career line, I see, means that this is not only something that motivates you, but that sharing your creativity and your authentic expression with your community or with the masses, doing that in a way that may have never been seen before, that is actually what makes you super attractive to clients. It's what attracts money into your life and it's what your ideal career is based on. Now, note how all of that energy could be accomplished as a brand and web designer. It also doesn't have to be. It could also be expressed in being an artist in a different form, being an actress, being a public figure in some way. And it's not that you should want those things, but it's just to say that the energy in your chart can have many different ways of being expressed. And this is where your free will comes in. It's up to you. It's what you choose that you want to do with the energy that your soul provided you with. I'm sharing that last bit because one of the reasons you're asking me this question might be because you just wanted a permission slip or maybe you have some doubts about what you're doing and you want to know what else could be in alignment for you. So because of that, I'm going to answer your questions in two ways. One is that, yes, you're on track. You're amazing at what you're doing. And you're also designed to do something else if you feel called to. And that's really where the key is here. Do you feel called to do something else? If you don't, then keep doing what you're doing because you're brilliant at it. And if you do feel called, then this video is giving you some insight into the energy that could be behind a different track that you choose to get on. I do want to note that I also see your sun, moon, and Chiron conjunct in Cancer in the 10th house. And one of the things that shows me is that you might be hiding out in your career, keeping yourself safe and small, or even wanting to switch careers so you have an excuse for why you're maybe not as successful as you know you want to be because switching around or even the desire to switch around and therefore not having giving it your all, it might have meant not having enough time to make a mark in that specific direction. That's a belief, of course, as time is just a human construct, but it's a belief that could be keeping you safe from growth. So looking at your beliefs around being seen and being successful is something I would highly suggest. What would having a successful career mean to you? What would the results be? And where does success actually scare you? And if you do doubt what you're currently doing, then also take some time to feel into these next questions. What is missing in your current job? What do you love about your current job? In what ways could your current job be improved? And get very creative here. Just write down all of the beautiful, fun, and weird out there ways that your mind can conceive of that your job could be improved. And which improvements that are needed for you can truly not be met by your current job? 
Thank you, Virginia, for letting me look at your soul's blueprint. Of course, this was just a mini reading for a few quick little insights. If you want to dive deep with me, then you can always check the link in the description to see how we can work together. It would be an honor and I would love to dive into your charts with you. And if you want your own free mini reading, then also check out the description because the link to sign up for my newsletter is there as well. That is the only place where once a month I drop the application for you to submit your question question for this free mini reading, which can be done anonymously as well. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. I'm sending you so much love and we'll talk soon.